terrifying. Alright, so I'm printing out the orders for the launch today and we just got done doing just like our first round of um, going through everything and packaging them up and then I hit refresh and then like four more came through. I'm like, oh my god, this is so cool. <laughs> I don't know if that's ever going to feel real or when that will feel real, but this is fun. But I haven't really updated much um, at all this week. I have been sick with the flu and it's horrible. I am vlogging. <laughs> Wanna join? <laughs> yeah, where's the marker? Oh, marker's so, right here. Here we go. There you go. But I've been sick all week. <laughs> um, so we are supposed to go to Disneyland this weekend and we decided not to because I'm still sick. Dylan's stuffy too. It didn't hit him as bad. I'm sick. And he hates saying that he's sick. Um, so that's why I sound the way that I do right now. But we're home now this weekend and uh we knew that, you know, we were probably going to be out of town this weekend for the launch. Um, and we were just going to have everything handled by the time we got back. Um, but now we're just like, you might as well just keep up with everything. So we're just kind of packaging them and getting them ready as they come in. But uh, so far, our launch is going good. And now that we have the Manifesta Garage, it's super fun just like having a nice clean space to package everything without every, you know, packaging and tape and boxes everywhere so it's nice that it's all kind of like designated to one area so that was our goal though like trying to get it all done before the launch so we're just going to enjoy the night in i did get out a little bit today but um it caught up with me at like 3 30. i've been like literally on the couch <laughs> in bed back and forth between bed and couch for since tuesday and it's currently friday but we did get out a little bit still kind of hit a wall though at like 3 30 so Baby steps, getting back in, but my God, like the flu, it's like you forget how bad like a flu is after like the whole, you know, two, three years of COVID. Um, honestly, this feels worse than when I had COVID the last year. I tested though, I'm negative. So I definitely think like all of my clients are sick right now or a majority of them, same with Dylan. So I know that it's just like all going around, but um, yeah, we're just gonna enjoy the night in. And just wanted to say thank you to everybody that has supported us this far and put their order in for this launch. We're really excited to get these out after the weekend. Um, and again, you know, if you guys are interested, go to manifestedlife.com, check out our new drop. We got the long sleeve, black t-shirts, beanies, pashminas, all the good stuff. So definitely check it out. Bye, guys. Happy Saturday. <laughs> Where are we? <laughs> We're stuck in Dylan's car. We were going to the art fair this morning and Dylan's car started overheating. So Lexi- we were, we were getting Starbucks and I looked down on my car and it said, uh, yeah, it's starting to overheat. The little gauge was going up, up, up and the fan kicked on. I was like, this is not good. So I had to shut my car off while in the, the, what is it? The, <laughs> the driveway, drive-thru? Drive-thru. <laughs> the drive-thru. The drive-thru. <laughs> um, yeah, so now we are waiting on my sister and her boyfriend are here to save the day. Thankfully, they were meeting us, so so they were getting cool. It man, I fucking love my Range Rover so much, and everybody that asks me, I tell them the same thing. Range Rovers are dope, but they always have fucking issues, and not only that, the issues are always expensive as hell. So I took this into the shop about three weeks ago for some maintenance. I mean, every time I go in the shop, it costs nearly $10,000 or more. And everything should be good. Everything was good to go, but then- No, I feel like you had a couple yeah. issues after getting your car back after this time. Yeah, I do feel like, that's what I'm saying. Like it should be flawless. There should be no issues, but I, but I feel like every time it gets in the shop, there's other issues that come about, come up, such yeah. as this. 
there should be no issues with it but uh yeah here we are sitting in the parking lot but it's okay uh luckily jake and lexi are gonna <laughs> save the day they're going to autozone for us it's two minutes down the road lauren thought we were gonna go to drive to autozone well, like, i don't know hey, I this realize. is it's overheating like i cannot go anywhere we're sitting right here so we're just waiting on them and then we'll get some coolant and then we'll be good to go we're heading up a but you know what our fest you know what what do i do what? look at it this way we were supposed to drive this car to California this weekend. We would be in Disney right now. Your car, we, we probably would have been driving this, and, and it would have like would have we would have been stranded highway. on the highway. No, I would have noticed it on the highway, and then pulled off and probably got some cool at a gas station or something. Like yeah, that. but that's but, not as easy as like being home. I'm looking at this on a positive note. <laughs> I'm looking at it as a positive note too. At least I noticed it and it didn't fucking blow up. So yeah, yeah, we'll get a little cool, and then we'll be on. The road for I'm so excited. Oh, they're here. Yay! Look at that. Here to save the day. Gotta love that. Yay. <laughs> nice. I love you guys. Yay! You look cute. Thank you. And as you guys saw, we just got Petties and Bay got a Manny too, of course. Look how cool these are. They are so sick. Can you see them? Yeah, they're chromed out. Super sparkly, glittery. I like awesome. them. They're cool. Let's see those toes. All right. I already joked on Instagram about how long it's going to take for Reddit to post about our toes. <laughs> they're pink, but honestly, I think Same. mine are better. Check them out. <laughs> Matte black, let's go. I've been contemplating on doing it, um, for but a while. for like months. My, <laughs> yeah, the pedicurist. I think that's the right terminology. She's like, you should do your toes black, and I was like, no way. I've been waiting or wanting to do it. Yeah, she so she recommended. She was cool. She was dope. What was her name again? Vanna. Yeah, Vanna. She said she Vanna, but not, not white. Vanna White. Yeah. So shout out to Vanna for hi. hooking it up with the matte black. Say hi to YouTube's. Hey, Athena. Did you hear that painting? Yeah? She was like, you fed me. Yeah? How was dinner for you? Good? You're not being fed again. She's like, can you feed me again? Yeah, we didn't put this on Good you Lord. yet, did we? What? That's what we got. It was my idea. Athena. I had these guns growing up. Ready? It was on sale for $7. Ready? Don't shoot her. Ready? Go get it. Go get it. Nope. Nope. She knows she's being filmed, so she's not going to be entertaining. <laughs> yep, she said, nope. nope. She thinks they were actually going to feed her, though. Oh, oh. <laughs> there she goes. <laughs> so it's a $7 toy for us all. Where you at, Athena? Happy Sunday, YouTube! We're back at the art festival. Day two of the art festival was obviously a success. By Look Andrew. how sick cool. this is. So we had to snag a new art piece for the Manifested Warehouse. Moonlight Studios. It was the coolest couple ever. Just so as soon as I saw the booth, unique. I was drawn into all the vibrance and the, the cool colors. That uh, she created, and uh, we're gonna put it in the manifested room. Yeah, it's gonna be look so sick. On that wall, and we got some candy apple licorice. Apple we got bath bombs. Long licorice, man. I got a pretty little shot. Athena, Athena eye. That was fun. Yeah, <laughs> so cool. That Picked we up had some this right in our hometown. There's two yeah. festivals a year, three days, 500 vendors. Yeah, so cool. we might do a, uh, we're thinking of maybe doing Manifested. Do maybe. a Manifested booth, maybe. Yeah. I mean, it's right here in our backyard. So I mean, cool. why not? Yeah. Art fairs are yeah. so fun. Right <laughs> so yeah, now we're going to go smash some blueberry bagel sammies and then smash some legs. It's a good Sunday. Sunday Monday, baby. Let's go. You can You gotta stick your fucking finger in it. Yes, yeah, it doesn't look like it's. Oh, you got it. <laughs> Hello, happy Sunday.
Sunday, we took advantage of a weekend home being under the weather and sick. Uh, to package some manifested orders. Honestly, I am just so obsessed with this filming spot, so you're probably going to be seeing this location a lot more from now. But um, I'm really glad that we decided to call off Disney, although I really wanted my Mickey fix, and I know Dylan did as well. I'm really happy that we just got to go to the art festival and just kind of chill this weekend. I think we really needed it. Obviously, when you're getting sick, your body's telling you it's time to put a break on <coughs> huh, obviously <laughs> on life. So um, I wanted to finish out this video by kind of giving you guys more of an update about my IV sessions, the ketamine sessions, just because you guys have asked some awesome questions and I really want to have a good comparison for a lot of you guys. So as I've said and stated in the first video, um, my experience with ketamine has been more so recreational or at home, um, I guess, therapy. When the biggest reason why I wanted to go the IV route was A, you know, it's being overseen by a medical provider. Um, you know, the IV route is going to be more bioavailable versus the normal route, which most people do in the recreational form, is going to be nasal. So, what I wanted to do was sit down and kind of share now more of like the behind the scenes, smaller details, um, and just kind of answer a lot of the questions that I've gotten over the past couple of weeks. So since I was sick this week, I had to skip my fifth session. So I still have two more. Um, but what I can say so far with completing the four, these are going to be the main things that, that I've seen. Um, so the first one, um, overall mood and euphoria. Following those treatments, either if it's that night or the days following, I have definitely noticed that my overall mood has been very uplifted. Um, again, you know, this is going to be a treatment for depression, anxiety, and I can totally see why. You just feel very grounded and happy um, following the IV ketamine. And, you know, I think the biggest reason why is that it's creating new pathways and brain activities so that way you're kind of replenishing your brain and uh you know the way that you're thinking about different things or responding to different manners so i definitely would say that overall happiness i have noticed big time um and then kind of like what i talked about in the last video i didn't have my very low depressed state right before my cycle this month so i'm really excited just to see as the months go on if that really is something that i may have completely eliminated as was my goal but it's really cool to see that that already was helping and happening within my treatment series. So again, still have two more left. I'll be finishing out those this week now that I'm feeling better. Um, so my next one's tomorrow, so Monday. But what I want to do is kind of just compare my experience from just like at home recreationally nasal versus that IV. And, you know, what, what I can say, because what ketamine does, again, it, it, it helps you kind of separate from your ego. It helps you have some out of body experiences. So those first couple sessions, it was very similar to what I'm used to at home. Your body starts to kind of feel numb and tingly. You don't really feel much of your body, but you, you're, you're processing and, and experiencing things internally. Um, We've been working up the dose every single time with these sessions and you know because i have experience with it from the, from at home i really wanted to kind of push the limits and just be allowed to work up the dose as long as i'm allowed to each session and the point is to become more out of body during those sessions with a higher dose i will say the last two sessions so sessions three and session four i was very very out of body you're laying in an, a recliner chair, you have blindfolds on, you have music playing, and there was a point or a majority of the two, those two IV infusions where I was aware, oh no, my light went off. <laughs> it's gonna turn back on. Um, where I was aware that I was in a room, but I really didn't care where I was at. It felt like I was laying in all these different directions, but I was experiencing something and living something completely what feels like in another dimension. I'll, I'll basically just kind of compare it to that. And, you know, once that the IVs ended and you kind of come back to yourself and, and back to reality, 
you can kind of process those things a lot more, but it was just very calm. And, you know, I was having flashbacks to just uh, previous moments over the past couple of years, not bad flashbacks or anything like that, but just kind of reliving certain moments that were just really happy to me. So it was cool to kind of relive some just really memorable, happy moments that I've had over the past couple of years, all in this one session. Um, and it feels as if you're in a million places at once. It, it's the coolest feeling, but it was to where, you know, during that, that transfusion, I didn't really care that I, you know, was like this, like felt so out of body, but again, like coming back to it, you're just like elated and happy just because you're experiencing these like beautiful things in these K-holes or these, um, uh, you know, during these transfusions. So that was really cool. Um, and I definitely think that, you know, the way that I've kind of felt over this like past week, I even was like in the car with Dylan one day and I'm like, I don't know why, but I just feel like really calm. Um, you know, and that could be a matter of things, but I just really have felt calm. So I'm really excited to kind of finish out these two just to see where that gets me. And, uh, you know, I have the opportunity to do booster bags if I ever need to, if I feel like my anxiety is coming back or I, for some you know reason, do feel really down, but the more out of body and the higher that dose is, you know, it, it, that's where it really is creating a lot more of those new pain pathways or brain pathways. Um, but I will say, you know, I think that there's like this stigma with, with ketamine that, you know, people are afraid of those K holes cause they're scary and you know, you become out of body, but really when it is in a controlled setting and you're expecting it and you're aware of it, if you allow yourself to let go, you might be amazed at really how powerful and special ketamine is. Um, so it's really cool to be able to be in that controlled setting and allow, you know, it to do what it needs to and give me what I need. Um, but I think a lot of people, a common question was just like, you know, how do you get it? Where can you get it? And, you know, for the most part, people will be doing this out of pocket unless you fail to antidepressants or, you know, your military and are experiencing PTSD and things like that. Um, thankfully, a lot of states now are creating and, and uh, starting these IV clinics for ketamine. So really what I would recommend to do, and this is what I did, is just search your state or your city IV ketamine and just see what clinics come up. Um, they will usually have to do a consult with you. So I jumped on the phone in the very beginning with the anesthesiologist, the, the guy who created the clinic that I go to, and they ask you a variation of questions in regards to seeing if you have anxiety, depression, PTSD. And for most people, you know, if you have one or more, you will be a candidate. Um, but again, a lot of people do unfortunately have to go that route of out of pocket. So from the places that I've talked to in Arizona, and this is where, you know, it's, it, it is expensive. Um, from all the places I've talked to, it's looking like a range of 2000 to 4000 for that full six bag series. So the place that I went to was 2200. Um, again, I did pay out of pocket, but I, I really think that people should look at it this way. If you're spending money over and over again on antidepressants, that may not even be working. I feel like, you know, having maybe somewhat of a large payment for that ketamine, but for something that could actually heal and help and work, I think at the end of the day, it's, you know, it, it, it makes sense to invest in something like that. So, um, yeah, I would just like do a Google search, um, and see what places have a consult call and it wouldn't hurt, you know, the worst that they can say is no, you're not, you know, you don't qualify for it, but it, you know, if, if it's something that you've been considering or looking into, I would definitely see what, what locations are around you. Um, but the place that I go to is called complete ketamine solutions. And he does have some locations all throughout the United States, uh, Scottsdale being one of them. I think he's based out of Nashville, Tennessee or somewhere in Tennessee. But definitely check them out. Um, but I definitely see that this could be an amazing, amazing form of therapy and treatment. And the fact that I've seen results already in a matter of four sessions and still have two left, I really see this being a new trend and um, road to medicine and treatment. So again, if anybody has any questions, let me know. I'll be doing my final 
I guess, recap and uh, update video probably in the next one or two videos. Um, and I'll definitely look out for some other questions, but hopefully you guys have felt or have found that this is super helpful. Um, and it's been really, really awesome and special to be able to share this journey with you guys. And I appreciate that uh, for allowing me to. So uh, we are going to end the video here. I hope you guys all had a really great weekend and we will talk to you later. Bye guys.